Welcome to Cunningham Piano. I'm Hugh Sung. And I'm Rich Gallicini. And we have in front of us today a gorgeous Mason & Hamlin BB Grand Piano. The BB stands for a seven-foot piano. Now, this is quite a gem, gem of an instrument. According to the serial number, this was actually built in 1930. Rich, thank you so much for taking the time to join us. And tell us a little bit about uh, this piano in oh, Mason & Hamlin. Absolutely. Thank you for asking, Hugh. So Mason & Hamlin is an American brand of piano. They were hand-built in Boston. This piano in 1930 was hand-built in Boston. And what makes the Mason and Hamlin such a great instrument has a lot to do with their scale designer, Richard W. Gertz. Now, what do you mean by scale design? Do you mean, did he actually design these scales? <laughs> no, Hugh. <laughs> Those scales were around a lot longer than Richard W. Gertz. I had to ask. But Richard W. Gertz specialized in the engineering, the physics of the piano itself. So how were the strings laid in, more importantly, soundboard design, bridge design, rim design. The rims, this is a rim right here, goes all the way around the piano. That's hand bent uh, with multi-layers of wood, but this has massive rims according to the scale design. This also uses what's called a tension resonator, a spider web underneath the piano that is actually um, bound into the rim itself. Uh, that it's rooted in the rim itself and is designed to give the piano incredible stability. And it's actually unique to Mason and Hamlin, that, that spider web tension bar, isn't it? To my knowledge, no one else is using yeah. it. That's correct. Really Absolutely. Um, and it all contributes to the sound that is Mason and Hamlin. It's a truly, I would say, an American sound, a unique American sound. Oh, yeah. Uh, by the way, the, sure. the wood that this piano is made of, this gorgeous mahogany, I'm not sure if you can see that from the video, but this is just a gorgeous grain. Uh, Fiddle back mahogany is what we normally call this because it looks like the back of a violin. Uh, beautiful ribbon cut with some beautiful figures. Mm -hmm. So why don't we hear you play something here? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to purposely yeah. take a selection of Claire de Lune, Claire, Claude Debussy's Claire de Lune. Now normally this is a piece that has to be played really delicately and softly. I'm going to purposely exaggerate the dynamics so you can not only hear how softly, and it's amazing how soft you can play this piano, but also how rich, deep, and powerful. So please, you, if you're a purist, stop listening now. But if you want to really appreciate the full range of the piano, I'm purposely going to be exaggerating the dynamics. So Let's here it do is. it. Let's okay, have some here it is. Yep. That was beautifully played. Thank you, Hugh. Thank you, Rich. Now, I just actually have a question sure. that I wanted to pose to you. And it's interesting. We actually spent the day playing around a whole bunch of pianos, and we were playing uh, several seven-foot pianos and several six-foot and smaller pianos. Mm -hmm. And one of the interesting things that I'm noticing is that the seven-foot piano, in general, is easier to control soft playing. You know, I, I, most, most of the time, I think of a larger piano being built to, for you know, larger volumes of sound, louder sounds. Mm -hmm. But actually, it's interesting that it's actually easier to play softer on a bigger piano. It seems counterintuitive. Can you explain why that is? Absolutely. And honestly, is this the first time that you've noticed that? 
I mean, I'm, I'm posing the question oh. <laughs> really. I, I think it's an interesting <clears throat> it's an interesting observation that I don't. I think a lot of people, uh, you know, may overlook. They think smaller piano quieter, bigger piano louder. But in fact, larger piano, especially you know, actually a nine foot piano, actually it's yes. even easier to play softer if you're skilled enough. That's so, true. So. That's true. And the reason for that is um, almost universally, the hammers of every brand of piano, modern piano made today strikes the string one-seventh of the way up the string, or if you know your acoustics, the note of the seventh mode, mm. all right? So if you have a longer piano, the string, that, that space that you need to strike, right there, the strike point, is further away from the key itself. Mm. So the keys are longer, parts are longer to make that happen. It's a bit like if you and I wanted to move a huge rock and we had a longer lever to ah, move that rock, uh -huh. we'd have more control. That's a great illustration. Yeah, so you literally can feel it a little better on a seven foot or nine foot. Control that and just touch the string yeah. with that hammer. You yeah, know? yeah, it's, a, it's amazing. So it's a, something, a little, little known fact for folks who are considering different size pianos, why sometimes a larger piano can actually give you more delicate playing, but there is a good deal of skill involved, obviously. Absolutely. Yeah. But the control is certainly there. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much, Rich. It's been it's always fun uh, getting gleaning so much knowledge and wisdom from you about these pianos. Rich is one of the world's foremost experts on pianos of almost every make. And, and well, I really country. appreciate you saying that. I'm not sure that's true. <laughs> I am a student of the instrument. I'm a student of the industry, and you're a student of the music. You're you're a very very fine player. So we're really happy to have you here, and I love working with this guy. We're piano geeks. We are. We're piano geeks. That's of fair. Of all shades. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. We hope you're having as much fun as we're having making these videos for you. If you have any questions, comments, or even suggestions for future videos, please be sure to let us know by leaving a comment below and try to subscribe to our newsletter as well. We have a weekly newsletter so that we can inform you whenever we have new videos and articles. For Cunningham Piano, I'm Hugh Sung. And I'm Rich Gallicini. Thanks so much for watching.